Hi, and welcome to the Harold's Desk. Today I'm going to be talking about sleep. There are many scriptures about rest and sleep in the Bible. Sometimes we are so consumed with the cares of this world that it affects our sleep at night. Jesus tells us not to be worried or anxious about our lives. What we will eat, where, even what tomorrow will bring. And I know you're saying that's easier said than done. But rest in the promise that Jehovah Jireh is our provider. I know you've tried shutting off your devices an hour before bed. You may have tried drinking a sleepy time too. But here are some scriptures to meditate on as you rest. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3, 24. I lie down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. Psalms 3, 5. Be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46, 10. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. Psalms 116, 7. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Psalms 91 verses 1, 5, and 11. I will lay me down in peace and sleep, for you, Lord, only make me dwell in safety. Psalms 4, 8. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight thirty. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Peter 5, 7. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the fields grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. 
If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 6, 25-34 I pray that these scriptures will allow you to rest in the Lord. Grace and peace.